brothers and sisters. Today let me present you a new watch or an old watch because this is new in my collection for sure but the watch is uh, from 2005 and this is a GMT Master 2 a so-called root beer or we can call it Tiger Eye or at least the fans call it Tiger Eye and this is a two-tone piece with this very nice brown and gold touch and bezel and dial and I must tell this is nearly impossible to capture on a camera what I see in real life with my real eyes because the dial as you see is some kind of uh, sunburst brown and gold and dark champagne dial with golden uh, text written on it but the contrast between the text and the dial is uh, really really under the radar so nearly impossible to capture and of course because of Rolex never used anti-reflection coating on the glasses it is reflective and uh, ah, very difficult to capture and in real this is so warm this is so colorful really beautiful and yes the text is a bit hard to see in real too but on camera the, the picture is totally different i tried to took uh, some shots and some short uh, videos what you saw at the beginning of this video uh, i have uh, just uh, improved the iso or iso uh, value to make the colors warmer to try to give back the real warm color of the watch on this video i hope it could happen but with this camera when i use when i'm talking so i cannot set <laughs> the value so that's all but the watch is really cool and really nice and what i like in this piece because it is nearly 20 years old so it means three years to be 10 20 years old and this exact piece in this form of course it's not uh, in uh, production at rolex so this is a uh, uh, discontinued model in this way but you know they did it uh, a newer version in uh, uh, rose gold uh, and nowadays we call that uh, root beer but that is a rose gold version and totally totally different like this but this is yellow gold the 18 karat yellow gold with the nice claps and uh, with with this nice uh, oyster bracelets and of course there's a jubilee bracelet for this watch as well but i love this oyster and much more gold inside of course and the crown is gold and the bezel is gold of course and you see this nice uh, bezel inside with brown and very soft golden touches and of course the applied indexes and the hands are made of 18 karat gold too and the bracelets except the claps but the bracelet feels absolute modern it nearly feels like if it would be on a brand new rolex watch the keys is close to the modern versions too so this watch is uh, i don't really like vintage watches but this watch is really on the, the borderline uh, if i use the correct words on the vintage and modern pieces so this is perfect i really like it and it has got so warm unique look so this is really a collector piece and of course there is no too much of this type of watch on the market and let me bring it a little bit closer so this is the dial of course it has got some nice vintage uh, patina on the dial but it is really nice I'm not sure if this watch was uh, Polish Devil, but if you see on the video, the edges are super sharp and very nicely kept. So if it was Polish during the 18 years, the Polisher did a great job. Or maybe it wasn't Polish. And of course, the, on the 18 karat gold, there are some micro scratches, but this is impossible to avoid with gold. 
This is the old type of uh, Rolex, Rolex claps, what is <laughs> not too good, uh, at least not feels so expensive, but you know, this is an old thing, but the watch is cool, and this is the bezel action, this is funny because this uh, one not jumping like the modern ones, what uh, are jumpings by hour by hour but uh, this is nearly feels like if it would be a diver bezel what makes it uh, set correctly and also you can use the bezel uh, like a manual chronograph and of course the watch works like a modern GMT watch you can wind it once you move you will rotate the hand and we are set the date and you can do it backwards too this is the Rolex way and if you pull two in the crown you will move the minute hands and of course the GMT hands moving and you see this is a stop second so Rolex did it in 2005 Rolex is Rolex so this is it this is very nice I like it and it has got some loom, but now only in the hands <laughs> uh, is possible to capture. So I won't make loom shot now. But this is it. This is how the watch looks like, and really a collector piece. I like it. And now I give you a wrist check. And because of my camera will deplete in 20 seconds, that will be the end. So this is it, thank you for watching and see you later.